Welcome guys to this tutorial. Good to still have you here. Without so in today's tutorial, we are going to be talking about how to create your own table style. So we have tables. So on this uh, toolbar, we have table. So if you want to create a table, you can just go click on it. Uh, change the values five in a row I can say okay I want seven and I want also I want nine of the columns and the columns the width of the columns 2.5 now so I want it to be four I want the row height the row height to be um, two point let's say two let me say the row height to be two so I can just say okay he said insert point I'm going to click on that point so you can see and I'm going to say okay so this is my table it looks a little bit uh, so skinny so this is my table but I want to change this style so I'm going to go to um, tables the table style which is standard so I want to create my own style so I'm going to go to new I'm going to call this I'm going to call this the act Aki, Aki plan, Aki plan table, I say Aki plan tab, so which is architectural plan table, so I'm going to say okay, um, a new style architectural plan table, so okay, uh, start with standard, that's good because the default is standard, so I'm going to say continue, so it takes me new table style this it has grabbed the name already so the data is on it i do want standard say no i don't want standard i want another type of text that should be in it so i don't want it so i am i'm, I'm going to create a new one so textile so i'm going to create a new textile so no i'm going to create a new textile and i'm going to call the same thing i've called it arc Act plan text. I'll call this one now. Act plan. Act plan text. So this what I'll call it. So act plan. I'll say okay. Is act plan text. Uh, what kind of text do you need? I'll say okay. Let me just look for a very lovely text that will suit my my style of the design. So that's what you're going to look for. So I'm going to look Simpson. I think I like it. So it's it's a little bit okay, but I like it too. It's regular so I want it to be bold so I can just say um, let me reduce it to be 150 because since it's a table so it's going to be 150 you can also create a new you can rename it if you want to you can delete if you want to you can there's a preview of how this arc plan text is going to look like I'm going to say apply and I'm going to say close so I'm going to come to this text color you can change the text color maybe red if you want to you can change field colors maybe uh, I can say okay my field colors to be um, maybe cyan I think you know cyan looks uh, so it does not match with red so I'm gonna say okay let me leave that white so I'm gonna say white or I say none so none is better so I'm gonna say none so the general the format do you want general or you want point or text um, I'm, I'm gonna say upper cases or to be upper cases so I say text or it should be upper cases so I'm gonna to go to the column the column headers do you want standard you say no I want my this thing to be act plan text so the same thing so I'm gonna say close so that's good that's that's pretty good so I'm gonna say it's still 180 so I'm gonna say 150 150 I'm gonna say 150 apply and close so I'm gonna change it to 150 so middle center the alignment now the alignment now is going to be we have various uh, uh positioning systems so but i want it to be middle at the middle of the text just as it is like they are the middle of the table so middle center so you go to format again i want it to be general so i want the text so um, i'm going to say okay so i'm going to go back there i'm turning to other cases so i'm going to say okay so you can just play around do some few settings on it so this is the title of it so you can still go back do the same thing with it you can change it to outplan text everything goes off this is bigger now so I'm going to change it to 200 which is the header so I'm going to change it to 200 and close so 
So goes, you can see the title, this becomes bigger. So standard, no, I don't want standard. I want add plan text. So I'm plan text on it. So that's it. So it changes. So I'm going to say, okay, that's it. I want it. So I'm going to say, okay. So add plan text, set current and make it good. So I'm going to go over to my table and I'm going to click on my table. So I'm going to say this, my columns should be nine. I'm going to make my columns to be nine and I'm going to make the width of my row to be 10 or well, let me make it 15 so my row I'm going to be seven so I'm going to make the width of my row to be 15 to be 15 I want it to be big so that it can you can see it very clearly so I'm going to make it specify to window so I'm going to say okay so I'm going to click this insertion point I'm going to say this is where I want it to be so I'm going to pull some pulling away you can see you can see the action some pulling away becomes it becomes bigger it becomes bigger it becomes bigger and pretty so that's it so you can just go ahead just type whatever you want to type here so at this I'm going to type um, I'm going to type construction materials construction materials construction materials materials so i'm going to type construction materials so looks a little bit smaller so uh, we're going to still increase it so i'm going to type in here 500 so it becomes bigger so construction materials so i'm going to hit okay so this is my construction materials table then you can just go ahead and put some values in there so that is this guys for how to create your own table style and also do some changes to your table text that's it guys thanks for watching this tutorial do give us a thumbs up if you like our video and also subscribe to our channel for loads of our videos coming up see you in our next video